In years past, when I've grown sweet potatoes, I've started them the more traditional way, um, by putting toothpicks in the sweet potato, and you can see the roots here develop, and then eventually, I just noticed, you start to get a little sprout here. It always takes a long time, and I wanted to try something a little bit different, and that would hopefully, hopefully be a little bit quicker. So instead, I started some in soil, and these were both started at the same time, and this method has been so much faster. This method couldn't be easier. All I did was take a foil pan, poke some holes in the bottom, fill it halfway with potting soil, and then nestle the sweet potatoes in it. I put it under my grow lights and on a heating mat in my seed starting station, and before long, I was amazed to see that the potatoes had already kind of rooted in the soil. That was my first clue that this method was gonna be a lot quicker. And then I started to see these sprouts form. You can see these, this is what we're going for. These are sweet potato slips. You can see these long slips. So I've already harvested two different sets of sweet potato slips. These first ones were from about a week ago, and you can see the roots are already growing pretty good on these. And these were just from a couple of days ago, I harvested another batch of them, and they already have some small roots going. So let me show you what I do. So when you get the, the slips, these long kind of sprouts, is maybe a better word for them, get these long sprouts, then I just kind of cut it off at soil level, strip the bottom leaves, then I'm simply gonna put it in another, in a jar of water and let it root. And once these roots have formed, this is what you're going to plant in the soil, about four inches deep, 18 inches apart, to, in order to plant sweet potatoes. That's how we grow sweet potatoes. So you can see from this, I'm gonna have lots and lots of slips. I'm gonna be sharing these with everybody who comes to my gardening class next month. So I'm gonna have lots of sweet potato slips before these sweet potatoes have even really gotten started. So I'm really excited to share this method with you. Give it a try and get some sweet potato slips growing. Thanks, thank you so much for watching.